Hello. These screencasts will usually be focused on concepts from the textbook, but this one is a general introduction to the scientific method and will be relevant throughout the course. An essential understanding of the benefits and limitations of science is critical for all citizens in the modern world. Understanding the scientific method also gives us a framework for our study of chemistry behind the news. Science is used in two realms, which often overlap. The technological realm, where factual knowledge is applied to solve practical problems and materials are modified to meet human needs. And second, the philosophical realm, where scientific theory, having been developed over time with expensive experimentation and observation, is used to understand the behavior of matter. Since chemistry deals with the invisible, we need to create models of how material behaves at the microscopic level. In the Middle Ages, gold was thought to be the purest form of matter. Different methods were used to try to produce gold. None succeeded, but many substances were identified and important chemical techniques such as extraction and distillation were developed. Interest in human health was also sparked, although it was studied as internal alchemy. Science is cyclic process of hypothesis, development, and testing. The key word is process. The models and theories are not fixed. They change as new knowledge is obtained. As this slide shows, Phenomena or fact is observed, and then a reasonable explanation is formulated. The key to the scientific method is figuring out how to test these hypotheses. Tests are meant to check the limits of the hypotheses as a feasible explanation. In a laboratory, conditions can be controlled, and repeated experimental tests can establish clear findings relating one phenomena to another. However, in the real world, we cannot control conditions so much as we can recognize them. Observation is often the best we can do. Statistics can be used to recognize patterns, but there is less certainty. All reasonable explanations must be considered. Most often, multiple factors are contributing to a particular outcome, and the real puzzle is determining the relative weight of each factor or variable. For example, what killed the dinosaurs? Was it just an asteroid impact? More research has found that dinosaurs were already on the decline. The weather was changing and mammals were stealing eggs and otherwise giving dinosaurs a hard time. This case is a good example of how there are usually not just multiple possible explanations, but truly a combination of factors that make a single clear cause and effect relationship elusive. Another example of this complexity and elusiveness is the impact of gases on temperature. In the laboratory, it can be clearly demonstrated that the concentration of carbon dioxide and methane each have an unusual ability to hinder the transmission of energy, especially long wave electromagnetic radiation through the air. The actual concentration of these gases in the atmosphere is very low compared to how it looks in this cartoon, but it is increasing fast. In the real world, we can see that the surface temperature of the Earth has warmed up as the concentration of CO2 and CH4 have increased. There is extensive evidence that the concurrence of these trends is not just coincidental, but other things have changed at the same time. So a definitive conclusion that gases released by human activity are totally responsible is not possible. Scientific evidence can be strong or weak, and it can support or refute particular ideas about the world, but it always needs to be interpreted. Science is intended to support or refute hypothesis allowing scientists to continually improve their understanding of a phenomenon. The 
the truth is that science can never prove that a hypothesis will hold in every situation, every time. Theories such as plate tectonics grow and change as scientific evidence accumulates and the general explanation is not refu refuted but ref rather refined. At some point, usually following a discussion of the implications, these will be supporting the hypotheses becoming widely considered proven and are accepted as theory. The word theory carries a stronger significance to scientists than most people. The theory means the evidence is really, really strong, not that someone is guessing.